Once upon a time there was a dumbass Oompa Loompa body ass beach. One day she walked into her boring ass room looked around and said This is not it. I don't have a personality. Don't be deceived by that smile she's actually dying on the inside. Look at those dark circles under her eyes they're ugly as hell. Anyway, she was tired of being a loser so she decided to be like every other basic girl and redecorate her room except it ended up being a lot uglier than expected cause she's a dumb bitch. I've been seeing so many people Aesthetic room transformation, TikTok room transformation, Pinterest room transformation You know what I mean And so I've been looking around my room and I'm like uh, Where's the flavor? There is no flavor but that's gonna change today because I am transforming my room to make it look slightly better than it looks right now. The catch, I'm not spending any money at all because I don't have money to spend at all. So it's time to DIY. This side of the wall is questionable. That looks like a dog took a big fat dump on it, chewed it, sat on it, swallowed it, and shattered it out. We're not gonna talk about the painting. And then this wall is just empty, just plain and empty and boring. Just like you. And I don't want to be boring anymore. First, I've decided that I'm going to turn this wall into a Louis Vuitton logo wall. Okay, uh, let's get started. So the first thing I needed to do was to print out the Louis Vuitton design. Cut them out and then tape them on. Then I decided that I wanted some Polaroids on my walls, but then I remembered that I don't have a Polaroid camera and I don't have friends to take photos with, so I googled images and I edited them to look like Polaroids instead. I'm not crying. So I've printed out... It looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna cut them out and then... My room is gonna look so nice. Yeah, no. And so the cutting process began. I felt like I was five years old again because what? why was it so hard to cut? I was literally exhausted. So the first thing I have to do is to take off my old posters and then put these on and see what happens. I feel like this is not going to work out right. is done it did take me a while if i had painted it it probably would have been easier and faster and more efficient but i don't think i'm allowed to paint my walls so there's that overall actually not that bad yeah no moving on i will be doing my door with the cow prints So the door is done, that bottom part, I'm going to use the scrap paper, like these parts, and make grass, so it's like, paint them green, and then tape them to the bottom. So for this part, I basically just painted over all of the scraps, yay me for not wasting paper. I just finished painting all the scraps, my hands are all green, I'm leaving them to dry while I work on this wall here. I'm gonna be putting the Polaroids on this wall. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna design it yet, but I mean, we'll see. That looks horrible. So now I have finished this wall, the door, the Louis Vuitton wall. Now I'm left with just one blank empty wall and I have no idea what to do. Kind of sad that I don't have a color printer because these would have looked really good if they were colored. Now it just looks like black, black and white. Uh, I love colors. Now for that wall. That wall, that wall, that wall, that wall. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna print some stuff. Let's just see how this goes. They tried to put me on the cover of Vogue. I use the website Block Poster. It's basically a website where you can make like big posters. Every 
everywhere I look, it's just black or white. I am lacking some color in my life. All right, well, let's put these up. I was literally so stressed and tired from doing this that I actually debated just putting a happy face on the wall. Like literally just a happy face. Because I was so tired and I'm like, I'm done with this. I don't want to do this anymore. But then I ate some food and my energy was replenished. So I printed out the photo. Because it's black and white, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Can you even see what this is? Gotta cut the borders off, put it on the wall, and then see if it's good or not. I've literally been doing this for the whole day. Like at least seven hours, I'm not even kidding. Oh, yikes. I like how this is Louis Vuitton, so it matches with my wall here. Here and here, definitely looking kind of empty, kind of boring. So I'm trying to think about what I can do. I've exhausted my engine. I wanted to put on the wall quote, so I chose kind of a corny quote. Um, I mean, but a lot of times the corny ones are the ones that hit deep. Actually, I have no idea what the quote I chose means. Like, I don't know what it means. Quotes by the one and only Charlie D'Amelio. Renegade, 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 rene renegade. So now I'm gonna have renegade on my wall. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Why would I ever put that on my wall? Yes! Charlie the Dimin over there. No, stop it. Okay, so I chose a quote by Will Smith. My daddy, my superhero. <laughs> Cut them out. Finally, they took forever to cut. And now I'm gonna have to put them on the wall. <sighs> it's also getting really dark outside. Which just shows you how long I've been doing this for. Aha, uh -huh, so inspirational. Uh, yeah. Don't really know what I'm gonna do with that. I really don't know. But, um, my plan is that I'm gonna make them look like little grass for my door. Because the bottom part, I did not have enough cow patches to fill to the bottom. So, hopefully, the grass will cover it up and make it look good. If not, well, that's just too bad. And then, I have another pile of scraps which are conveniently shaped like these. And I'm gonna try to make fake vines. Fake vines are overall pretty cheap already on Amazon, I guess. But I just really didn't want to spend any money at all because I have no money at all. There we go. So I'm gonna try to use the scraps I have to make the little leaves, paint them green, and then maybe if they look good, I'll put them around my room. I love being environmentally friendly. Then I got delirious and I thought somebody was stalking me. Is that person staring at me? As you can tell by the lighting, it is now very late. I taped together this. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna cut this into grass shape. Grass shapes. I'm gonna cut this into grass and then it goes on my door. That looks horrible. Yeah, so here I just painted the vine. So fun, huh? Okay, so here's a closer look at my fake vine. Basically, I used the scrap paper to cut out leaf shapes. So yeah, I only made one because this took forever to make and paint. I then spontaneously decided to make the TikTok butterfly ceiling thingy magic. Transformation. 
after two whole days i am finally done redecorating my room um definitely it looks a lot more flavored i would say because before all of this i literally had nothing on the wall like the only thing on the wall was the paint i did leave some space on the wall in case in the future i want to add something I also think my printer is broken, like actually. And these things are probably gonna fall off tomorrow. Who knows? Okay, come on! Yeah, yeah. Hey. No, 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 we're gonna skip that. This is actually so tiring. 